Barney, the Wiggles, Daniel Tiger, me. Oh no, I don't put myself in their category, but today by request, I am going to bring to you some of the learning songs that I have written for my girls. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life. Thank you so, so much for joining me today as I do something a little bit different. And um, that's sharing some of the songs that that I have written. Um, But before I do that, hey, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and like us, share them with your friends, because I love to share these videos with you. Check out the website learningthis.life and um, just join me on this journey of parenting. If you're a parent these days, you generally know all the little Daniel Tiger catchy songs. I mean, any parent of this sort of generation can probably do the toilet song or the potty song, uh, the, the stomp three times and, you know, let it roar, those sorts of things. The writers hit the nail on the head. The fact that music and these little catchy things are so important for our children, they're a great way to learn. Well, music is important to me. It always has been. And uh, I've always played instruments. I've done different things. And honestly, I was just thinking back, remembering things that from over 30 years ago, when we're put to music, you know what, I'm remembering them, whether they were quotes or important information from school, uh, Bible verses, just different things. If it's to music, I have a better chance of remembering it. And With music being so important when it came to having children, I knew that we were just going to be doing music, that I'd probably write them some little songs. Well, in fact, some days we have what I call like operetta conversations where we just sing our conversations to each other. Now, they're not like the world's best songs. I am not this brilliant composer. They're fun little ditties that I use to help my girls. But in all of this, anytime there's been a new sort of concept or thing that they need to learn, I tend to write a song for them. My songs really are written like off the cuff. There's like, oh, here's a new situation. So let me just sort of make up a song on the spot. And if it sticks, then it sticks and we still use it. And this has been developing really the past few years. Without further ado, I would like to share a few of them with you. The first one is We Give Cuddles and Kisses. Uh, This is probably one of the first ones that I wrote for them because we were having some problems with the fact that there was some hitting and biting going on. And so that's how this one came out. We give cuddles and kisses. Oh, we do not hit or bite. We give cuddles and kisses. Oh, we do not kick or shove. And we repeat it. We tend to do that one. And now I can just go, we give. And the two of them usually will will cuddle or or join in, um, which is great. Another one is we speak nicely. Yes, you can probably guess what that was for. We had to learn how to speak nicely to each other. And so this one goes, we speak nicely to each other. We speak nicely to each other. We use kind words with a friendly smile. We speak nicely to each other. I wrote a song about water. Our uh, water is good. Water is great. Um, I don't know whether my daughter's got the word hydrate from this song or I put hydrate because they were using it. But anyhow, this one is about teaching why we should be drinking water. Uh, It goes, water is good. Water tastes great. It's the best to help us hydrate. Water is good. Water tastes great. It's the best to help us hydrate. W, W, A, A, T, T, E, E, R, R. And what does that spell? Water. Water is good. Water tastes great. It's the best to help us hydrate. Water is good. Water tastes great. It's the best to help us hydrate. And I will leave you with probably what is still um, my favorite one. And honestly, when I sort of was just coming up with this song, I had to find a word that rhymed with words and the word turds just popped out and that sort of has become sort of part of our sort of family vernacular um, that we use like if you're having sort of some terrible behavior we call it like acting like a turd Um, and which is 
actually probably the best way to describe it because when there's a turd a poo in the room it just stinks up the room and nobody wants to be around it so let's get rid of that uh so that sort of came out of this song we call it the rules pardon me does this face look happy do you really want a cranky mummy? Well, what can you do to help me out so I don't get frustrated and shout? One, speak nicely with kind words. Two, be respectful, don't act like turds. Three, do first time what I ask or say, and then we'll all have a lovely day. So those are just some of my songs. Um, just wrote one about riding a bike for the girls, about staying on the right. I will probably just keep riding them. We've got ones about underpants, ones about why we need to flush away our poo. You know, in our family, you need to learn it. It's got a song for it. So hope you enjoyed those and I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you like them, why not um, share in the love and become one of our Patreon champions. You can check out the link um, below. But thank you so much for watching today.